For cheap, safe, and reliable coin service, head on over to FIFACoinZone.com and make sure to use Dirty at checkout to get all that good extra discount. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the footies. Woo, we've got Inform pink cards coming to Ultimate Team in just about a week or so, and I'm excited. You get to vote, something the FIFA community can kind of dictate. I encourage you to do so. I'll leave links in the description. And I'm going to go through each section and say which players I think are going to be most influential, I'm most excited for, because there's only going to be one, to my understanding, from each little subcategory, whether it's the skillers, the best leadership, the five-star weak-footed players, all of the above. If you enjoy the content, drop a thumbs up. Also, drop comments. Who are you most excited for? Who did you vote for? I want to know down below. Let's do this. Number one, we've got the goalkeepers and safe hands. And remember, the stats are going to be upgraded whenever this inform comes out. So it's not going to be what you're seeing on screen with the pink foot head cards that are identical to the normal standardized cards. And I'm easily most excited for Leno. I've actually been falling in love with this goalkeeper more and more throughout the year. And if he went up to an 84 or an 85, I think it might be game changing. He might challenge uh, Neuer for the top goalkeeper in the Bundesliga. Two for tackles, and it's going to be a no-brainer with Yaya Tor. You've seen a man of the match and informs, but who else would you really vote for? They're all CDM players that aren't necessarily complete, and then you have someone like Yaya who can do everything on the pitch. So give me a pink Yaya. I'd love to add him into my club. Skilling and killing, and I think this is a heavy debatable. I would like to see Chikawi. I'm just a fan, even though I'm so tired of having to link him up with Chermidi in the midfield. Even Rezma would be fun, or, or Nani. Actually, all five of these guys, I would be cool with them getting an additional card that's special, that's upgraded. I'm not mad at all. Laser long shots, you should either be voting for Hernandez or Guarin. I'm going to favor Guarin just a bit. I have both of their inform cards currently, and I think Guarin's actually just a tad bit better, maybe because of the pace, and he's a little more physical than Hernandez. But if you go either way on that, I'm not mad at you. Number five, we've got the guys that have the aerial threats. Ugh, ugh, the header game. And I felt like a Hodge twin right there. I had to throw that into the video. Cavani's going to win this hands down. He's just a better overall player than the rest of the guys that are in the voting. So it's a no-brainer for me. Have you been introduced to Ronaldinho? He's going to win this category hands down. And I want to see a pink Dino card. I'm excited. It's too bad Gerard was thrown into the mix. He'd have a chance, but... Not when you're competing against the main man, Mr. Barcelona. I think we all remember those two or three years where Ronaldinho was untouchable. He's just such a pure class and, and brilliance. He was innovating the game in ways we hadn't seen before. So I'm, I'm looking forward to his pink card. I hope they give him better stamina because he gets tired. Oh my goodness, does he get tired in FIFA. Hey, squeezing and pleasing with that five-star weak foot. And I've mentioned this prior, but when I'm out and about, I have thrown this line out there with the ladies across Houston. I'm just confusing everyone. And Mkhitaryan with my choice out of the five. I don't know if he's going to win. You've got some big name players. David Villa, Francisco Totti. you, you got Blanco for probably the last year that he's going to be in a FIFA. I don't know. I don't know. He refuses to retire, but I would like to see Mkhitaryan out of the group. This might be the most talented category for the footies, the out of position, and that's kind of a surprise, but Walker, Walcott, Oliver, Luis, Gareth, Bale, all those guys are stellar in FUT, and I, I wasn't going to vote for Gareth Bale just because... I want to pink Gareth Bale. Who doesn't? His normal card is a disaster to try to stop, and this is going to be no different. He's going to kill it. Perfect link, Royce. Thank you very much for moving on to the next section. No brainer. Last up, we've got the Burners, a.k.a. the Rage Quit Squad. If you see these guys in the starting 11, you're not in a good mood. And I think Doombie is still the most deadly of this grouping. However, Ramirez. Woo! An upgraded Ramirez card. He's one of the best central mids in FIFA 15. Maybe not attacking, but as a center mid or a CDM. And if you play anything with the three midfielders, such as a 4-3-2-1 or a 4-3-1-2, Ramirez is a must-have if you can slide him in there. However, with the voting system, it looks like Emanike is going to come through with an upgraded card. That will be powerful. He had a lot of hype at the beginning of the year, and it's kind of died out. So this might be his revamp. Woo! Thanks again for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the content, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter at DirtyMikeUSA and Instagram at DirtyMikeVision. I have a lot more content coming your way ASAP, ASAP.